Back to the blend. So we all want to get out of debt. Sounds like a good thing, right? Many companies say they can help you do that. That's great. But are they legit? Well, here to help you avoid scams is attorney Judah Zakalik. He is here with Peters and Associates, also known as the Panda Guys, of course. Great having you, Judah. Always a pleasure. How often are you getting calls from these people that ha have hired and paid people for debt relief and then find themselves not relieved? <laughs> uh, too often than I'd like to admit. Probably at least two to three times a day I get a call. I met with two people yesterday in the same situation where they hired a company to help them with debt settlement. And... Uh, they're not getting the debt settled, and they're just paying this company, and the company's just keeping the money. Oh, wow. Yeah. I, I got sucked into this whack when I was 19 years old. Right. They had the commercial, hey, you can consolidate your debt. I'm like, hey, that sounds like a great idea. All of a sudden, my credit score drops two or 300 mm -hmm. points. I'm like, why did I do this? this? I probably would have been better off just paying it normally. Probably. What's... What's the most common scam you see? Is that would that be it? Then holding yeah. on the money? Yeah, I mean, uh, it's not a tried and true scam by any sense, right? They're providing a service. It's just that they're not being fully detailed in what the service entails. Yeah. So what they're saying is, hey, we're going to settle this debt over a period of four years. And, you know, pay us this amount per month. And what you don't realize is the money that you're paying them at the outset, most of it goes to that company, yeah. and they're not paying your creditors. Mm -hmm. And so your creditor is not going to wait four years to get paid you're going to end up getting sued during that time. Great. And then that whole plan, that whole debt settlement plan goes out the window. You, you would assume that there are laws to protect you from scams like that. In fact, there are. Oh, yeah. great. <laughs> you are correct. Tell me about these laws. Well, here's the and thing. How, and, and are they working? Uh, yes and no. I okay. mean, they're, they only work to the uh, extent that they get enforced, that someone tells the government, hey, there's a bad actor out there. But the FTC in 2013 uh, passed a law that said no dedicated debt settlement company can take any upfront money without first meeting with you in person. Oh, wow. Okay, so a lot of these debt settlement companies are out of California or out of Florida. And it's usually all over the phone. Over the phone. That's what over, I did, yeah. Exactly. And you start paying them over the phone, but they're not allowed to do that, mm -hmm. right? They have to send someone or you have to meet with someone. Uh, and now they've tried to get around that by sending people to your house, but you have to be cautious about that too because you never know who's coming to your house. Yeah, exactly. Which can be of concern. Or are they going to case the joint? Right. If chances are, if they're involved with something that's a little bit of, has a little bit of devious means, chances are the people they're sending to your house are not necessarily so up and up. Yeah, probably not. But yeah. then also what happens if you have a problem with that company and they don't have an office, a brick-and-mortar location you can go to yeah. to... to make forth a complaint, right? So you're going to try to find that person who came to your house? Probably not. Yeah. You're going to try to call that company and they're not going to answer and you're going to have problems. So if somebody's being conned, is there a way to get the money back? Uh, yeah, I mean, you could contact the attorney general for that state. You could try to sue them. But once that money's out of your hands, it's much more difficult to get it back. And it's probably going to be more expensive right. and to you're try already, to get it back. And you're already in debt issues Definitely. anyways. Exactly. That's why you called them. Yeah. And that's why you hired their services. Wow. Um, so my recommendation is, hey, go to a brick-and-mortar place in town locally. Mm -hmm. Let's keep the money local anyways. That supports our local economy. Great. Um, but also, if you have a problem, you can go down to that office and talk to the person. Absolutely. And sometimes there's even nonprofit offices in town that will help you as well. There's nonprofits. There's um, lawyers that do it, right? We, we also offer this kind of service. And I like having a lawyer do it for a couple reasons. Number one, the lawyer can defend you if you get sued. Which is big, which is what these other guys aren't doing. Which they can't do, right? Mm -hmm. um, also, that lawyer can threaten bankruptcy, which is a huge hammer to hit these creditors with. So we threaten with bankruptcy. We dangle the carrot of perhaps a settlement. And some of these clients will file bankruptcy on. Some of them won't. But the creditor doesn't know. And so that can sometimes scare them into a better settlement. So bankruptcy, essentially, you're saying to the creditor, hey, if you're not willing to work with us, you're going to get zero. Right. Well, that so helps. work with us. There we go. So work with us if you right. want to get more than zero. It's a win-win for everyone. What other tips would you have for people? Uh, like I said, make sure you go to a, an office um, that you can speak with someone there. Um, do, you, I mean, do you have Google to even, them. some people, I think they, they see these commercials, they see, oh, well, I have to consolidate. Right. But sometimes you're able to pay the bills separately. Yeah, you can. You could just keep paying the bills separately. And, and let's keep in mind that there's a difference between debt consolidation and debt settlement. Mm -hmm. Right? Consolidation is when you get one loan to pay off all these other loans, yeah. and you consolidate into that one loan and pay that off. Where debt and requires good credit. Okay. Right? Where debt settlement is, we settle the debt for less than what is owed. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. So you. what we're talking about here is debt settlement companies and or lawyers that do debt settlement mm -hmm. and try to settle that debt for 20 to 40 percent of whatever's owed. And you got to make sure that in the paperwork that you do with this debt settlement, at least why it's nice having a lawyer, right. that it says the rest of the debt is forgiven. 
Right, exactly. Because if not, they'll just sell that debt to some company for a dime on the dollar, and then they'll try to get the rest it, of the money. It doesn't resolve the issue. Yeah. And then you also have to carefully read the contract with that debt settlement company, too, because a lot of times they'll boast some kind of percentage, but then it says, oh, well, we'll settle at 55 cents on the dollar, not the 20 cents we promised you. Wow. So it's always very important to read that contract closely. Where, where were you when I was 19? <laughs> I, I was probably in school myself. 560 credit score for the longest time. You could have saved my life. It's great having you. Always Thank you so time. much. Thank you. Thank you. Don't get scammed and don't get hurt by these guys. You want more information on the services offered by the Panda Guys of Peters and Associates? Just call the number or head to the website on your screen. They're also on Facebook and Twitter. They'll take care of you.